Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm August and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lizzie McGuire X Colourpop palette and I also have a lippy here. I did not purchase the entire collection. I was not doing that. I did that for the Hocus Pocus collection because I got too excited and I still got some glitters that I've never used so I didn't do that again. But before we jump into this video please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this Lizzie McGuire palette. So I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen this palette, but in case you didn't, here she is. It kind of reminds me of the Sailor Moon palette, but more vibrant, not as ashy, and honestly, just more pleasing to the eye, in my opinion. Okay, so my eyelids are all prepped and primed, and let's go ahead and jump into this palette. I feel like everyone keeps getting the same look out of this palette, like that purple on the outside and the pop of green on the inside. I'm intentionally trying not to do that, but honestly, looking at this palette, that is what I feel the most comfortable doing for some reason. There's no transition shades that really tie in that green, so I feel like that's why everybody gets that purple look on the outside with the green on the inside, but... um. I don't know, I'm gonna try something else. First things first, I'm gonna go in with Done and Done. I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid. Mm, kinda looks like nothing, to be honest. So let's try that again. And I'm not expecting like an extreme color payoff because I am using like a really big fluffy brush, but I just didn't see anything that first time. Now I see something. So next I'm going into the shade Don't Freak on a little like, more detailed brush but still kind of fluffy and i'm just gonna like try to <laughs> where did that go um let's let's try that again um one more time i was looking forward to this green y'all see i wore the green shirt i was looking forward to this green this is really bad like this green is really bad i'm gonna try to keep going i'm gonna try not to wipe this off of my eyes but mm -mm. comment down below should i wipe this off or should i keep going because i'm really torn right now i don't know what i'm about to do i i see why everybody's sticking to the script because this this is awful. I mean, if worse comes to worse, at least I just did one eye and not both. So I'm going to go in with the shade Dear Diary right here. And I'm going to try to like, I don't know what I'm doing at this point because this is just not working out for me. Um, This shade is really pretty. Honestly, this review is over. You guys, thanks for watching. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, uh, kind of want to start over. We're going to try again to see if we can get something out of this palette. If this is your first time watching my channel and this is your experience, I'm so sorry. I literally have never had this happen to me before, but I'm just like putting out my honest experience with this palette and yeah. So we're going to try again, okay? So this time I'm diving straight into UGH which is exactly how I'm feeling right now. And I'm just going to buff that out all over my lid. And next with this same brush, I'm gonna go into Outfit Repeater. I'm gonna try to tap off those micro glitters because I'm not really into those. And next on a smaller brush, I'm gonna go into Digital Bean. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer part of my eye and I'm gonna bring it in just oh my god the fallout <laughs> and I'm just further blending those shades and meshing everything together next I'm gonna go into hello fabulous just like right there and now I'm gonna go back in with that purple shade called digital bean and just like fuse those two together or at least try Honestly, the kick up in this pan, look at that. Like, can you guys see all that purple dust, like just everywhere? 
Okay, and now with a flat brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Dear Diary and I'm going to place that here. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I feel like this one shade is carrying this entire palette and I haven't even dipped into all of them yet, but I will because I wanna see like what this is about. Like what is happening in ColourPop? What, what went wrong? I was so excited for this palette and I'm like so disappointed right now. Like y'all don't even understand. And just to try out more shades, I'm going to take this shade Outfit Remember and I'm going to place that right here. That is also pretty. And I like how it has like that slightly green reflect because it ties in the purple with the green. Yeah, that fallout is something crazy. Can you guys see all of the fallout on my face right now? And to finish off this eye look, I'm gonna pop bye bye. <laughs> Ironic. I'm gonna pop this right in my inner corner. So now I'm gonna wipe all this fallout off of my face and finish off my face and come back with my final thoughts. And I did pick up the lip gloss in the shade Lizzie. That is what it looks like. It's very glittery. Y'all see that? <laughs> So I intentionally did not watch any reviews on this palette because I wanted to give my honest thoughts and opinions. I didn't want them to be swayed by anybody. And honestly, I was really excited for this launch because I was one of those people that loved Lizzie McGuire back in the day. And like that's so I just love Disney Channel. But honestly, I'm extremely disappointed. Like y'all to be honest i feel like the only reason why i would grab this palette again is to put this green all over my lid those are just some of the shimmers in this palette the ones that i thought were pretty yeah this was a flop like i said the only shade that i would really grab this palette for is this green shade dear diary honestly let me grab my just my look palette so if you have the just my look palette you can honestly use the middle shade called mary jane and it's literally the same as Dear Diary. Those are the two shades swatched side by side. This is the Dear Diary shade that I really like in the Lizzie McGuire palette. And that is Mary Jane from the Just My Luck palette. It's literally the same thing. Like, the same exact thing. I feel like I could have definitely passed on this. And if you passed on this, then you, my friend, lucked up especially if you have the Just My Luck palette. And if you have the It's My Pleasure palette and this palette, then you're good. You literally do not need this palette. Yeah, now I have a palette that I don't even like. <laughs> I literally don't even know what to say. Like this is the saddest review I've ever had on my channel. And as for, as for the gloss, I just feel like it's a little sticky and it's not just this gloss by itself, like it's the So Juicy glosses. I just feel like they're a little bit sticky, but they're pretty, so I don't mind it. But I don't have like a ton of these because I'm not really into the sticky gloss. Like, it's just not that comfortable in my opinion, but that's just me. Some people really like this gloss, and so I'm not hating on the gloss. It's just not my thing. I have it now, so obviously I'm going to use it. But that palette though, I don't know about that palette. I, mm, that might just be one of the things that just sit on my shelf. You guys see the nails, right? Y'all see the nails. Like I did this on purpose. This this was planned. This was premeditated. I was really excited for this. But that is it for this video, guys. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.